Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Free the Peace Friday episode. And today we've got an Ultra Red. We've got this Ultra Red 1984 Chevy Camaro Z28 from the Auto World Deluxe Series Hobby Exclusives. So they did come out with a few Hobby Exclusives of the Deluxe Series of this Camaro. Um, as you can see, this is on the version A card. And of course, I got the regular ones for us to go ahead and take a look at as well. Um, so this is a pretty interesting release. We've got version A in white right here. Looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty nice. Uh, this Camaro is definitely a fan favorite for the Deluxe series. It's one of the coolest castings that they had in the Deluxe series. It looks really good in white. Um, they've made it in a few different models, and actually, I'm probably going to run down all of them, not in this video, but I'll probably do a, what we call a collection update article on the LamleyGroup.com, uh, where I will run through each one of these castings, uh, tell you the limited numbers of each one. As you can see, uh, 1248 is the limited number of the version A, and also the same for the version B car. Um, these have a date code of 2017, as you can see, May 10th 2017 is when these were produced uh, another cool little fun fact about auto world is they do have tooling numbers this is 164-009 is the tooling number for this now that tooling there are slight variations of it hood variations um rear end variations and that is so it can cover i believe 1984 all the way up to i think 1992 i want to say for the camaro for this generation Camaro. And uh, that is pretty cool. And I will talk more about that or write more about that in the blog. But we're here to open up this car. So this is the version A in white. It looks quite nice. Uh, so it's white with a black interior. Um, the one thing about the Deluxe series, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, plastic base, metal body, plastic tires, and the wheels are generic as well. They're not going to be... Uh, to, uh, the different for each car, you know, like appropriate for each car. So, just so you know. All right. Then, this is the version B in black. Looks pretty nice. Uh, same date code, right? 510. 510, yeah, 510 2017A1. I mean, they're only producing 1248 of each one. I'm sure they can pop that out in a day. Uh, so, looks pretty good. You can, see, you can see these are highly detailed. I mean, really, just the body alone is like a premium auto world casting. And the interior, I guess you consider it as well. It's got as much detail as any premium auto world car. The only thing that they, uh, that's not premium about it is the plastic base and, of course, the wheels. Other than that... I mean, it's pretty much a premium car. Oh, and it doesn't have an opening hood. All the premium cars have opening hoods. But here's the version B car. And then here's the Ultra Red. So what? Uh, why do I have an Ultra Red here and an Ultra Red here that we're going to open? Why would I want two of them open? Well, if you look close, as you can see, this one has a red interior as does this one and then this one has a black interior so f fun little fact about these the version a and version b since they're hobby exclusive releases and this isn't true for all of them there's very few actually that this is this is true for but it's true for a couple there's a ford gt release and i'm not talking miho exclusive we're talking just straight straight packs sold to hobby dealers hobby exclusive special edition cars okay there is only a few of them and actually i think there's only two different cars that actually have a different ultra red for the version a and version b one of them is this camaro the other one is a ford gt release which i don't actually even have either of the ultra reds for that because they're really really tough to get these are actually really tough to get too believe it or not because they're very very limited so if you think about it they're 3% of the production line, version A, 
version B. This is version A right here that you're looking at. This is version B. The only difference as far as I can tell is the interior. Uh, these have ultra red bases, by the way, too, which looks pretty cool on plastic. Um, they're limited to 37 pieces each. There's only 37 of these. And there's only 37 of those. You know, together, you know, there's quite a few. There's, what, 74? But uh, only 37 of these, of each one. So they're not entirely easy to find. Uh, this one, I think I got lucky. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how I got this first one. I might have picked it up off of eBay and got a deal on it. I'm not sure. This one I got off, um, it was like Max Car Collection or something like that. And I got a super good deal on this one. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and open up the version A one. As you can see, it's got an ultra red base. Just look at those date codes, too. Why not? So it's interesting that they did this. And to be honest, I'm not sure if this was intentional or not. Because um, all the other deluxe releases, they released, I think, I want to say they released, they did three different cars in hobby exclusive uh, releases around this same time for 2017. They did this Camaro, they did the El Camino, and then they did a Fox Body Mustang. And to my understanding, for the uh, Camino and the Fox Body Mustang, the Ultra Red's not different for version A and version B. This is the only one that actually has a difference, and the only difference is the interior of the car. Um, which makes me think that it might have been just a factory thing. They were, you know, they produced the black one, and then they did the Ultra Red's. And then, uh, you know, so it had the red interiors or whatever. And then they did the white one or whatever, and it had the black interior. You know, as far as I can tell, that is the the only difference. If you guys spot any other difference, of course, let me know in the comments down below. So nothing different there. I mean, the, the black interior makes the tone of the red look a little bit different, but it's not the same same with the base uh, so the production date is 5 10 2017 5 10 2017 because all these cars share that same day same date interesting and I'm pretty sure that is the production date like that's the date they actually were made um, I could be wrong on that. I don't understand why they would put a date on there otherwise, but it appears to be that's what it is. Um, the writing right here is like too small for, for me to read. You know, I don't think the camera would be able to focus in on that. Uh, so I'm not sure on that one. I mean, they both look really, really nice. They both look good. And of course, the only difference is the interior. And that's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. Uh, very, very interesting release, though, from Auto World. These are kind of under the radar as being rare cars. Uh, just because they're in the deluxe line and not a ton of people, I don't think, were really into the deluxe line of Auto World. Which is kind of unfortunate that they discontinued it. I get it. More people are going to like the premium stuff. But, man, I kind of wish they would dress up this casting and kind of alter it, alter the tooling. Uh, to make a premium version of it. I think it would be quite welcome uh, for collectors. A lot of people love this style Camaro, I, including me. It, as far as Camaros go, honestly, this is my favorite style Camaro. Is these uh, Z28 Camaros. I don't know. I just like them. I think they're cool. So let me know what you guys think. What do you like better? you like the black one or the white one? as far as the Camaro goes from the regular releases and then of course there's no real nothing really to talk about here with which one you prefer the red interior or black interior I kind of like the red interior with the ultra red car but that's just me but yeah really cool interesting release from Auto World again um, be watching lamleygroup.com I did one collection update uh, article on the Cadillac for Auto World um, the whole rule behind those episodes is typically you you need to have um, 
every variation of the casting in order to write an article about it and go through each one, obviously. Um, and I do have all of them for this Camaro. So I do have all of them. I will be doing, of course, I don't have any Ultra Raws. If I had the Ultra Raws, that'd be awesome, but I don't. Um, but I will be doing an article on these. I'm going to write it. You know, hopefully it'll get posted sometime soon, and uh, you guys will be able to check it out. So, that's going to be it for this episode of Free the Peace Friday. Please check out my other episodes, and uh, check out the playlist, all the good stuff. You guys have a great day. Please participate. Uh, open up some cars. Tag me in your posts, and that would be delightful. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye.